What's up, everybody? I'm Sniggenhoff, and we are back once again playing EU4 as Tuscany with MT 2.0 mod installed. In the last episode, we've been working on paying off loans, working on getting to colonizing, dropping down, and I think this is where Port-au-Prince is. Is that, is that Haiti, Port-au-Prince? I think so. I don't think it's Jamaica. Jamaica's Kingston. Anyways, doesn't matter. I, also, this is Jamaica, isn't it? Yeah. That's something else. Anyways. Um few things to note we have two loans left to pay off a little bit of unrest over here in Corsica but we've got some troops over there to hopefully put that down about 30k off of our max manpower limit seven years ahead of time on all the techs not currently paying down corruption because I'm working on paying off loans don't have a military advisor but I think that's fine for now and currently Saxony has disputed succession and if they were to die a noble from the house of De Medici would su succeed to the throne so that'd be interesting Maybe get another personal union up in here. Although, that'd be so much aggressive expansion. All this land in the Holy Roman Empire? Jeez. Uh, but, let's go ahead and unpause. So, I think our number one thing is still just paying off loans. A Renaissance genius, man in Fiorenza, has become notable for his brilliance in any subject he turns his mind to. Not only does he produce beautiful paintings and sculptures both, but he writes political treatises, elaborates on, elaborates on philosophical... Philosoph Philosoph philosophical conundrums, I can read, and stands unparalleled in his understanding of the biology of animals as well as humans. Being a loyal citizen of Tuscany, he can certainly become certainly be convinced to serve the state with the right incentive. Pay him to improve the infrastructure. We get admin tech costs down for five years, which currently we're not going to take it for seven, although it seems to work out that we take it early, although we do have some infl inflation to buy down. Uh, Diplotech cost, military tech cost, idea cost. Are we working on any, any idea groups? Not currently. Or gain 50 ducats. I mean, the 50 ducats wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. And I don't think I'm going to get the benefit out of any of this. That may be wrong, but... Ottingen wants Condottieri. More exploration finishing. Portugal's the only one, only other one colonizing right now. Is Castile going to colonize at all? They are working on exploration ideas. What about England? They do not, although they're working on naval ideas. What about France? No. Also, holy, whatchamacallit's Batman? Who is this? Norway has taken over almost all of Scotland. That's new. Uh, is Norway going to colonize? Not currently, although they do have naval ideas. Good to know. So we're only really competing with Portugal right now. Because Steel's not ready yet. So I think what's going to happen once we finish paying off these loans is I'm going to go to war with Milan. They're only allied with Baden. We have relatively low aggressive expansion. Other than the people who are, you know, in the coalition. But Milan, for instance, has two aggressive expansion. Most of these northern Italian people don't really have a bunch. So we can take a few things off of them there. And, oh, you guys have things, places. Outraged countries and outraged countries. Currently no more outraged countries to improve with, though. So... Give me subject and neighboring. Unless I can't improve with any subjects, in which case I'll go allies. Nope, no subjects to improve with. Still have disputed succession in Saxony. How much do I need to repay this? 140. And I am a bunch of units below my force limit, and only two boats below my boat limit. Should probably look at building up my army. Smallpox hits the natives, they lose another thousand size and lose 
ferocity and aggressiveness. Does that affect the population of the province? I would assume it would. The natives are only at 4,000 now, but it doesn't really show me the population now. Russia declared war on Genoa. Accommodation with natives. Like, it shows me that this population here, but this 10 would indicate more than the 7,500, you know? So I'm not quite sure how that works. And we are righteous now. The illegitimacy plus one. Not really needed, but I will certainly take it. Definitely worse things that can happen. Should be close to being able to play this off. 138, two more months, maybe one more month. And I am paying a bunch of subsidies to Hungary to make them happy. Which is fine, really. Do not want them to get built up some. They're, tech, they're military tech 19. We're military tech 25. So they're a tad bit behind on that. Have you guys embraced the Renaissance? Stability of Tuscany, Tuscany improves. Welcome new. They're way behind. They're like, in, in terms of tech, we are the bastion of technology here in Europe, along with... Who is this? Hynot? Institutions what I want to look at, though. Yeah, they don't have the Renaissance yet. They also don't have banking yet. They're way behind. Alright, explore some coasts. And Switzerland is now Protestant. I can repay a loan. Both on the same day, so it doesn't matter which one. Alright, 683 a month. Castile wants Condottieri. Genoa is persecuting religions. Who are you fighting with, Castile? France? Yes. And so far they have won a lot of their engagements with France. Capped on military points. Capped on generals. I could fire this guy. I don't super need a three fire, one shock, six maneuver dude. The other ones seem fine. Six fire, two shock. A lot of really good siege generals out, out here, though. Well, next time we're capped, we'll likely have to just take the tech. Discontent. Uh, just unrest in Piombino. Which is not that unheard of. Although they are nowhere near revolting. Fume has been placed under interdict. Not affect us. Speaking of religions... Not a great Protestant religion in Germany. Or a re re Protestant Reformation in Germany. Almost bigger in France than it is in Germany. And Italy. I mean, Italy is the heartland of Protestantism. And Hungary. There's the Corsican revolts. Hopefully this does not result in a stack wipe for me. I lost, but it did not result in the stack wipe. That's what I wanted. Wait until next month, I should be able to march in. Fairly fine. The classics 100 admin, 40% chance of losing a stab. And we lost a stab, but we got 100 admin. Um, I should also appoint a general. That dude should do the, do the trick. There we go. We can now lower maintenance down once again and ferry you guys back across. And you... 
explore some more coasts. Nobody down in South America. Land traditions scorned. Um, I think I'd rather lose just five army tradition than lose 20 army tradition. Five years ahead of time on tech. What tech is Milan on? News from the colonies. Maize will now be produ produced in Maguana, which I think is our colony in, uh, in Haiti. Yes. Maize. And we don't know what's produced here yet. Turkish Empire declared war on Genoa. Gaining colonial conquest CBs against these dudes out here, I'd bet. Drunken Explorer. Um, one of our expedition members, our explorer of all people, managed to get himself into a dreadfully embarrassing situation when he overestimated his own capability of handling the fruity liquor the natives of Car... Karankawa brew. Disgu disgusting details won't make it into this report, but he was as sick as, as a pig for a long time. The natives thought it fun, laughing at his mystery misery, but the rumors of this event has reached the ears of the high so soci socialites who frown upon such behavior. Gets Drunken Explorer, which doesn't cost us any prestige. Uh, Venice has left the military coalition against us, which means we could attack them if we would like. It's important information. Austria left the military coalition against us. Fantastic. Now we'll just have to give these people reasons to join a military coalition back against us. Yay. Perugia. I probably need to approve with you at some point. Try to get you as a vassal. Again, Savoy wants military access. I say no. France is getting their butt kicked. Steel really flexing its muscles in this campaign. Giovanni per Pierlu Giovanni Pierre Luigi de da Palast Palastrina. Palestrina was an Italian Renaissance composer of sacred music and the best known 16th century representative of the Roman school of music musical composition. He has been he has had a lasting influence on the develop of development of church music, and his work has often been seen as the culmination culmination of renaissance poly polyphony 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 palestrina left hundreds of compositions including 105 masses 68 off offertories and at least 140 madrigals and more than 300 moets in addition there are at least 72 hymns 35 magnificats 11 litanies and four or five sets of lamentations one of the hallma hallmarks of palestrina's music is that it is that it's is that dissonances are typically re relegated to the weak beats in a measure this produced a smoother and more con constant type of polyphony, which are, which are now considered to be considered to be a definitive of the of late Renaissance music. Given Palestrina's position as Europe's leading leading composer, along with Lassus in the wake of Josquin, the Palestrina style style now serves as a basis for college Renaissance counterpoint classes, thanks in large part to the efforts of the 18th century composer and theorist Johann Joseph, Joseph Fux, okay, who called uh, who in a book called Gratis ad Parnassum, Steps to Parnassus, uh, 1725, set about codifying Palestrina's techniques as a pedagogical, pedagogical tool for students of composition. Palestrina was famous in his day, and if anything, his reputation increased after his death. Get eight prestige, gain the two skill composer um, Giovanni Palestrina in Vertreb. Currently, I want to stick with one skill, guys, though. For the cheaps. News from the colonies. Millet will now be produced in produced in Nadar, which I believe is this one. Jace. How much? Nope. 
capped on military points again. Need 129 ducats to pay that off. Um, I don't think there's anything else for me to spend my military points on. So... Now build bastions. Austria has gone to war with um, Venice, which is probably pretty bad for me, honestly. During our mission to find viable provinces to colonize, we stumbled, stumbled upon Nat Natishquan. Its natives are mostly hostile, but the land is very prosperous. We gain much from trading with this province, although we might need to bribe a chief or two. Make them a fair deal, or make them a dishonest deal. Give me that money! Can no longer claim that Pavia would be part of our realm. Ravensburg. Just left the coalition, and I just lost my... Did I just lose all my claims on Venice? Like, right as I'm about to go to war with Venice? Or not Venice. Freaking Milan. Looks like it. And I got discovered. Oh, that sucks. You're at war with Austria as the... Okay, so you're not at war with Venice. Like, you're not trying to conquer Venice. You're at war with Savoy. Which is good for us. Venice just caught, got caught up in the middle of it. All right, repay that loan. What is my current mission? Is it still manpower? Yeah. How are we doing on centralization? Getting closer. Genoa and Russia accepted peace. Not entirely sure what for. Oh, they did get one province, probably this one. Yeah. Right, let's go back to doing this. I could declare war on Venice. Actually, I don't think I have any claims on Venice. Oh, no, I do have a claim on Venice. So I go to war with Venice. That seems dangerous, though. Who would join? Hopefully not as many as their allies, but let's just see. Naples would not... Savoy would. The knights would. I'm not scared of the knights. If I could get Savoy out of the war, that would be dope. And I currently have no CB for these guys. Try to give some of this to Hungary, take some of this for myself. I could get behind that. Okay. When can you go back to work? July of this year. This war looks like it ended, or at least ended with them. Saxony is no longer in that alliance. And by Saxony, I mean Savoy. Kind of like jumping on these guys right now, especially when they're weak. do it. Uh, heavily restrict. Oh, 
What is their military tech? 22. So we're like way ahead of them. Put this guy in charge for now, but then I'll want to get the three skill uh, siege dude. Uh, cancel your mission. How does the fleet numbers look? They don't have very very many galleys at all. Okay. Go blockade enemy ports in the Mediterranean. And I could call Saxony to the war. I don't think I need to worry about Saxony jumping in. Although Saxony did just grow. And they are still disputed succession, which is great. Alright. I should be able to fight that now. Yes. And I can stack wipe it. Fantastic. Um, attach. I want you to put this dude in charge. No, not there. Go to Venexia. Can you not go to Venexia? Maybe not. Alright. Alright, now here's the other question. How much will a peace deal cost me? That's 20 aggressive expansion by itself. What about this stuff down here? This stuff is all please take it off my hands kind of territory. I would like to get both of these provinces if I could. Seventy aggressive expansion though. Or I could leave Venice and just take that, but I don't really want to do that. I may just do this. That seems pretty decent. So I'll just take Venice for myself and then t give all this to Hungary. Then take it, take it more in, the, in another war. Greater noble loyalty improves. Twenty six loyalty. It's a lot of loyalty. No free picks. Do probably need to offer them favors at some point, but I'll do it later. And I'm at war with these guys and Baden. No, I'm not at war with Baden. That would have been these guys. I'm at war with the Knights. Why can I not go here? It's not... It's possible... Populist Reformation. Ideas of the Protestant Reformation found fertile ground in nations such as Tuscany. Many newly literate middle classes were eagerly reading the Bible in unofficial, often illegal translations. As they began debating theology, they were exposed to anti-Catholic tracts and cartoons that spread quickly via the printing press. While the papacy is considered, considered how to respond to its critics, thousands of ordinary people took up Bibles to proclaim themselves missionaries of the new faith, even at the risk of their lives. Ban the tracts. 20% of the population will be converted to Protestantism or encourage their work, and 30% will be converted to Protestantism. Let's do that. All right. You guys. Go here. Go here. All right. Land movement blocked by Hostile Fort here. It's being dumb. It won't let me move here. Like, it's not like the base game where there's a straight here. Where are my galleys at? Alright, we're gonna try hunting enemy fleets. With both you and with you. Alright, 
You know what? I'm just gonna do this manually. Ravensburg has been placed under interdict. He's currently exploring. And I have just you. And looks like our dude just died. Massive celebration. Uh, 163. 331 is the heir. Who the heck is Gastone? Who's 20 piety? Oh, okay. Doesn't say De Medici. Why did I take a loan? Oh, probably because I paid for that celebration. That makes sense. Alright, let me wipe their fleet really quick and see if that allows me to march on Venice. Yeah, there we go. So it's, it treats Venice like a, like a straight, I guess. Well, anyway, we'll go ahead and call it an episode right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button down below, as well as subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. How far do you think Pietro the First's reign is going to take me? I mean, he sucks on admin, but he's makes up for it in some other areas. Anyways, once again, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.